Hello everybody, so this reading is going to be about Travis and Kourtney Kardashian and honestly when I did the, video, um, the voting I got and when I did the reading on Scott yesterday and I will link it down below most of the vote actually went for Scott and then now when I see my channel most of you actually later maybe some of you have voted for Courtney and um, Travis later, but they got majority of the vote. So I'm so sorry for delaying this reading. I should have done it before, but when I did the first, when I did the reading on Scott the Six, you guys voted for him more. So you know, percentage uh, <laughs> can change with uh, time. So let's see what I can see uh, about Kourtney Kardashian. I've already done one on Kim. It's, it was a solo reading on her. And I have already done one on Kylie and Travis. I will link it all down below. But let's talk about the big sister. What is going on in her life? What's her energy? And also her relationship with, Tra with Travis. I personally... Um, as I always say this, that tarot reading is about the current situation. So I'm going to talk about the current situation, things they can, uh, and things we can learn from them. You know, like celebrities are every reading, every person we see in daily life or everything is like a single a signal for us. I'm sorry. So um, my whole intention behind creating this channel is that First of all, we need to humanize celebrities. We don't need to like worship them, number one, and num to understand like they are general people like we are normal people just with more fortune and money. And also, uh, yeah, there is something we can learn from their mistakes and the good things they have done with their life. That's my um, intention behind creating this channel. So let's get started with Courtney and Travis. Okay, so let's see what cards can I pull. The first one would be, give me a second. Okay, there are, uh, I'm very clumsy today. Okay, 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 okay. I, oh my God, I'm having a hard time pulling cards for them. Okay, I see six of pentacles in reverse. Let's get another card. Oh my god, cards are just jumping out of the deck, I think. Oh, I'm getting really, really clumsy at the moment. I don't know. Sometimes it's, it's just the energy of their relationship, I think, is getting <laughs> clumsy a little bit. Um, let's see the overall energy of that couple. Uh... Six, six, six. What else? What else? I need another card to start the reading. Okay, five of swords in reverse, six of pentacles in reverse, and the four of swords. So, uh, what I'm seeing career wise or financially, they're not really um, going really well. Again, it's I'm I'm talking about a Kardashian. They will never go homeless. Don't worry about that. And with, I mean, I think Courtney doesn't really care about too much money. She's like, she's the kind of a person who wants to be comfortable. Um, comfortable, not what comfortable is uh, general, generally comfortable for us. But like, she just wants her needs met. But she is not like very materialistic kind of a person. That's what I'm seeing. With the five of swords in reverse and the four of swords upright, I can see she has a peaceful like she is finally in peace at the moment as we speak uh 4th of um november 2022 this is when i'm doing the reading so now she's doing like good like she's peaceful with the two of swords i'm seeing she's um of course like trying to balance something let me see like what she is um up to and also let me see what Travis feels for her like Travis's feeling so um knight of cups in reverse and let me get another okay justice so I feel that Courtney I mean are they in love with each other mm, okay I need like more cards because I'm not really feeling it Courtney is in peace Courtney's doing good I'm not really sure about Travis though like Travis uh is like Um, 
I think they probably they were like friends before. Are they, I mean, I'm not really. I'm not really. I I know about Scott and Courtney, but Travis, maybe. I mean, okay, so. Courtney is like doing great, but Travis somehow feels caught up in this situation with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Like he thought she is a Knight of Cups, what she is not. With the Justice card, I'm seeing this this was bound to happen. Like there is nothing, nobody has, again, judgment card. So um, this is what they get. Like this relationship is a manifestation of the karma they have done. Karma doesn't have to be good or bad. Karma is action. And this relationship is the manifestation of their men, like what they thought, what they did physically uh, in, in the physical world, or the kind of decisions they had made in their life, the way they treated their children. This relationship is the manifestation of that. Is it good or bad? It's, uh, I don't know, because it, Good and bad is very different for everybody. What is good for Kim won't be good for Courtney. What is good for me won't be good for you. So is it, are they happy? With the Page of Cups, I'm seeing Courtney uh, and also with the Queen of Wands. Courtney is doing good. Um, yeah, Courtney is doing really well. I mean, she finally gets to live the innocent part. Like, okay, here's the thing about the Car Jenner clan. I always talk about that, that that thing whenever I do a reading on any Kardashian or a Jenner. Is that they never really, they, they haven't had like a strong male figure in their life. It's all about their, it, their mom always took control of everything. And because, because the, of the obvious unfortunate reason is Robert Kardashian, the, their father died way, like when they were like really young. So, and Courtney being the older sister always felt like she needs to take care of everybody. And she is not appreciated enough for that. Like I can feel that. And, and this is what every older sister feels like. I mean, if my younger sister is listening to this reading, that's what like i mean there is like a karmic burden you have when you are the oldest one in the family and you decide to stick with the family that's what i'm seeing with courtney but with travis she gets to live that and also scott being younger than him way younger than her she always felt like okay first i had to take care of the young my youngest siblings and i had to play the big sister role and now with the father of my child i also have to play the older woman like she didn't really enjoy it with travis she's feeling something else she's finally becoming a childlike person person like she can finally show her innocence to this man because this man doesn't judge her for who she is you know um and with the queen of wands i'm seeing yeah she's coming to the queen of wands kind of energy uh, and um she, she is really happy. She is doing very well. Like she has never felt so comfortable in the presence of a man. Okay. So, um, that's what I'm saying with the page of swords in reverse. I see that she doesn't have to like Courtney is the kind of person who suppress her feelings a lot. She doesn't show her feelings. She doesn't tell anybody what she's going through inside. Instead, she, would like the the rudeness you see in her is like the manifestation of how she's feeling inside and how she wants wants nobody to know like how how pain what sort of pain she is going through in her life right so with the page of swords in reverse i'm seeing she doesn't page of swords upright always talks about like good communication or like how to express your feelings like someone with great people skill Courtney doesn't really have it Courtney doesn't know how to express her feelings right let me pull another card for Travis because I'm only seeing Courtney 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 <laughs> but it's a couple reading so uh, three of swords in reverse I think uh, okay so Travis has been hurt as well Travis uh, had a broken heart i don't know the reason i'm not getting into his past relationships of course uh who wants to do that i don't want to do that uh, but courtney is some sort of a healing effect in his heart uh with the ten of swords in reverse this man feels really relieved in courtney's presence like they're doing very well to be very honest courtney got what she wanted travis got what he wanted that's what I'm seeing. Okay. So um, they did, they did want to different things. I mean, Courtney likes Travis because Travis is not a judgmental person. Like 
he would so so travis is the kind of person if you go in front of him and do all kind of stupid things he'll be like yeah cool yeah you're funny like he wouldn't judge you he is not the kind of a person who would talk um behind your back or treat you like unkindly no he's a very upright person and someone who knows how to like make you feel comfortable around him like that kind of a person so Courtney gets to show her innocent side in front of him like and with the three of swords in reverse um and the ten of swords in reverse i think they're in a very peaceful situation at the moment like i'm i wouldn't say oh my god uh burning love or like oh my god love a card no i'm not saying that i'm saying peace finally a comfortable place where i can rest that kind of energy like finally i found somebody i can just i can just bore his chest and sleep in there and don't worry about anything else in my life that's what courtney's feeling that's what travis is feeling okay let me pick more cards it's a good reading i'm so happy because um i did a reading on kylie recently and i didn't really it was a very heartbreaking reading i will link it down below if you guys want to watch it uh with the ten of cups i'm seeing they love each other's family so courtney really loves travel like she tries to love courtney doesn't come up as a loving person she doesn't look like one but she is trust me she's a nurturing woman she did she probably doesn't look that way but um she is a very nurturing person so mm, um She's a nurturing person who understands the, how the world works, so she has to be rude sometimes. Like, that kind of a person she is. She doesn't take anyone giving her any kind of, like, if anyone... Courtney is like what you are giving to her. So if you're being kind to her, you will be kind, uh, she will be kind to you. If you're not being kind to her, she would just show, you know, like, show it to you. Like, okay, show your place to you. I see Ten of Cups and Six of Cups. It's great. So I see a great family dynamic happening here. Travis cares a lot about Courtney's kids, um, Mason, Rain, and Penelope. I think their name. They're I, I don't and I don't really know the name of Travis's kids except for Alabama. So Courtney has a lot of love for those kids, and Travis has a lot of love for their kids. So, um, yeah, six of cups and ten of cups, great. So family is good, and the family loves each other. They, I have um, okay, so like uh. Penelope cried when Courtney told uh, about her engagement to the child and we have all seen how the kids are like unhappy and everything. Um, uh, kids as in Courtney's kids. Travis's kids were fine, but Courtney's kids did not look very happy. Why did that happen? Let's see. But, but because at the moment, as we speak right now, they're in a very happy situation. They're peaceful with each other. The kids are doing great. Uh, the family is doing good. But why? Let's see, like, why Penelope and the other kids were looking, like, upset, kind of. Only Penelope looked upset. Other kids were fine, I guess, in the wedding. Okay, so, um, the full card. It's a very powerful card of the deck. Um, mm, okay, let's see. Oh, it was just anxiety, I think. Uh, let me get a clarification. Okay, so Penelope is more of a... She's also like her mother. Like, she has um, anxiety issues. I mean, she... Um, it's like how we... There are a lot of kids who doesn't even... Who can't even stand their father in front of their mother. Like, they are just, like, very possessive about their mom. Penelope is kind of a... That kind of a girl. So that's why she was upset. She wasn't upset because she was upset with the wedding. She doesn't even understand wedding. Like, because... Uh, when their parents got separated, they did. They were not old enough to even understand what divorce is. They are used to seeing their parents with other people. They don't think anything of it. Okay. Mm. But I see great near future ahead of both. Like I really am very happy doing this reading. Courtney finally found her peace. Travis finally fi found his peace. Family is doing really great with the full card. I see beautiful future ahead. Um, with the nine of pentacles, I also see abundance. So when I picked, uh, uh, I remember doing a reading on, again, I will link it down below. Kim, Kim doesn't really feel abundant, even though she has the most money. She or Kali, I'm not sure. 
But Courtney is very good at filling abundance. Like she is um, very in tune with um, uh, the blessing she has got in her life. She's a great mother. She uh, is feeling abundant financially, mentally, physically. She is doing well. She is happy with this man. Um, believe it or not, uh, but she is really, really, really happy with Travis at the moment. The marriage was a good decision for her. Um, but the wedding day was kind of like a, a pressure. I mean, it was, you know, it was a high profile wedding. Paparazzis were there. You wouldn't like that kind of like, for example, you know, it didn't matter how the wedding was. What matters is they're really happy. I mean, if you saw something, it, it was because of the, you know, the press and the paparazzi and everything, but they're actually very happy together. It's a great reading. They're happy. They're doing really well. And let me see if there is any, because I heard that Courtney, not heard, I've seen in the shorts, YouTube shorts, you know, YouTube keep giving you a lot of um, algorithm shorts. So uh, that Courtney is trying to get pregnant with Travis. I, I'm not watching this show in Hulu. Uh, with the tower moment, the so tower moment is, um, okay. So far the reading was going really well and now we got a tower moment. Let me clarify it. The love card in reverse. Okay. Okay. All right. So with the tower card and the lover cards in reverse, I'm seeing if they try to, if they're like, if they try to like have another child, it can create a trauma moment in their life. It would create, bring anxiety. The lovey-dovey relationship might get affected because of trying to bring another child in the world. So if Courtney is listening to this reading, my advice for them would be they're doing amazingly well. They're doing great. Courtney, this is the man for you. Travis, this is the woman for you. You guys are doing great. Your family dynamic is great. Everything is fine. With... Even your kids are getting along with each other. What else do you guys need? Another child. If you obsess over trying to have another kid, it can affect the relationship. Because um, I don't think it's a good idea. Will they have another kid? I don't want to do future reading. Uh, um, but my advice would be uh, yeah, there is a possibility that they might will have uh, because I got impress card and I got the sun card is possible, but it would be like a tower moment for them to get that child to the world. So the only struggle I'm seeing here is trying to get another child together. So um, it's possible they can have a baby if they want to, but they have to go. Is it worth it? Like what? They're what? 40, 40 in the mid 40s or something? I'm not, or early 40s, but um, trying to bring this child would, would create a lot of anxiety, a lot of physical problem, a lot of mental trauma. Like, uh, at the end, they might would have a great family or make peace with the, with the family they already have. That's what I'm seeing. Okay? This is the only struggle I'm seeing here. Overall, the reading is great. Kourtney Kardashian is doing very, very well with Travis Barker. Their kids are doing well. Everybody's happy. And I have already done readings, as I said, on other Car Jenner people. I have done a reading on Kylie and Travis. I have done a reading on um, Kim Kardashian. I have done a reading on Scott Disick. So I will link them down below if you're interested. Please go ahead and watch them. And uh, what the, the lesson I have learned from this reading and Courtney's life is never lose hope. And um, yes, maybe in the end you will get what you're looking for. But then again, nothing really lasts forever. So keep enjoying what you have, whatever blessing you have got in your life. And take a sip of, sip of your coffee like I'm doing right now. Mm. And enjoy your life. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Till then, stay blessed. I'll see you guys in the next video. And please, 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 if you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the play bell icon so that every time I 
upload a new video you can get the notification of it as a very small youtuber it really really helps my channel thank you so much i love you all Mwah.